What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Cody Seibert and you're watching a Web Dev Junkie video. So in this video, I'm going to be doing another CSS battle. And more specifically, I'm going to be doing this um, challenge right here, this cool little shape. If you don't know what CSS Battle is, it's basically a site you can go on and start challenging your CSS knowledge with building out these various shapes. So I was asked if I could try to do this one, which is called Doorknob, and that is what we're going to be working on. So if that's something you're interested in seeing out how to build, be sure to stick around. All right, so let's just go ahead and change the background color like we do in every video. So background, I'm going to set it equal to that. And one thing I'll notice about this is that it's just a circle with another circle on top of it. So we could probably build the, the back circle first, followed by the orange circle. Okay, so where was I? We want to build two circles and then this strange little yellow thing. So let's start with the background one because that it's probably going to be the easiest. So let's change this div and give it a class of background circle. And I can say background circle here. And what we could do is give it a border radius. 50% and that'll make it circle and then we also want to center it in the middle of the page so I could change this body's display to flex I could say um, justify content is center and align items of center and that's going to center it vertically and horizontally and now what I could do is try to find the correct width and height I'm going to say 150 150 is probably what it is that's actually a little small so I think maybe they're 160 160 all right, that one looks good. And now we need to change the color of it. So if I just go ahead and do that, that is how you do the background circle. Now let's move on to the next circle, which I can call the foreground circle, I guess. So foreground, did I spell that right? Foreground, foreground, I think that's right. So I'm gonna style this. Again, it's gonna be pretty much identical to this, but it's gonna be a little bit smaller and it's gonna have a different color to it. So let's go ahead and change the color so we can kind of tell what we're working with. And I'm going to reduce the size to that. So now, because these don't have position of absolute, you see how they're just kind of re relatively getting put into the DOM like they they're supposed to be. So I'm going to say position of absolute on both of those things. And then that should allow us to kind of overlap them. So let's make sure, looks like that works perfectly. Okay, so for the yellow line, what we could basically do, this is a little trick. I'm gonna make a class called yellow line. And inside of that yellow line, I'm just gonna make another circle. So I can kind of copy this and I could simply just give it a smaller width and height. Actually, it might need more, but anyway, let us try just changing the background so we can visualize what's going on. I'm gonna make it white for right now. And then what we wanna do is we wanna give it some border bottom. So I'm gonna say border is um, 10 pixels solid black. And that'll give us a border. But really what we want is we just want the border to be at the bottom. So I can say border bottom color is green. Border top color is red. Okay, so I think the, the border needs to be a little bit thicker probably. And then the, the circle needs to be smaller. Don't mind the colors. I'm kind of just doing this to visualize. I think we're almost there. I don't know if we need like 75 maybe. Let's just keep expanding the circle a little bit. So actually, instead of doing border top, I can say border right, I think. And now you can see we have two different colors. I really just want this color. So I can say, make the green and the, uh, let's do this one. Make those, and then I could kind of rotate it. So I can say transform, rotate, 45 degree. And now, for the background color, we don't need anything. And then for the top, I could say none. Oh, I guess I could say, um, I guess it would have to match. Maybe I can give it a red, red, green, blue, alpha of zero. All right, there we go. So it's hidden. And now we're kind of almost there. This is, um, I think ours is a little bit smaller. So maybe we could kind of make it 20 pixels or something. That actually looked like it worked pretty good. Okay, so now we just need to add these little caps. Okay, so what we could do is add two more circles of this color and just put them as caps. So say left cap. Let's go over here and make a left cap. 
So I could just, again, copy and paste all this stuff. We don't need the transform. We don't need the border stuff. But what we do want is we probably want to position it in a particular spot. So let me do background of this color again. And you'll see it's right in the center of the page. So we want to kind of move it to the left, maybe some amount. Oh, since this is absolute, it's not going to... I think it's fine. We'll just figure out where it needs to be. Let's see, 120, nope, 30, 40. That looks good. So let's do the same thing. We'll have a right cap. And we are going to, let's just say, add 100 to that. And I'm going to add a right cap here. It'll boom. There you have it. So this is how you reproduce it. This is one way you can do it. I'm not sure if this is the only way, but it looks like that's a perfect match. Let's go ahead and submit that and see what we get. And we got a 100% match. You know, people are doing this 155 characters. Like, that's crazy. I'm sure they're minifying their stuff. One technique I've seen people do is like the classes that they give these are like A, B, C, D, E, and F and stuff. So I, I'm not going to be doing that, but... That's pretty cool. That's how you can do that shape. It's basically just a circle that has a border that's rotated and then you hide the top of the border and that's how you can kind of reproduce this. So, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more CSS battles or if you have a recommendation of what I should do next because there are a ton that you can do, be sure to let me know. I'm always interested in challenging myself and trying to figure these things out. Be sure to give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Happy coding.